Hello and welcome to episode 84 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brandon. This is Brad. This is Nick. So what's going on Brad? What's this outline dip looking like? So we got a mini episode for you this guys. For uh, Looks like we got um, a game of the week action. We'll talk about that. Uh, we've got some treasure. Uh, we've got some games with 8-bit corner and then we got to dish out our punishments. And jerk of the week. Yes, jerk of the week's in there too. Uh, we don't have any auction, denials, uh, flea market stuff for you this time, guys. But we're planning a trip up to Shasta County. They have a big flea market there. We're going to get you guys in on that one. So what do we got going first? Game of the week? Uh, yeah, but first I wanted to send a thank you. It looks like we've been getting a lot of likes lately. Um, but thanks for supporting us, guys. Uh, your support really does not mean a lot to us. This is for all you ants out there. <laughs> That's the wrong podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Zachary knows what's up. Yeah. All right. So, game of the week. We played Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Yep. It's a fun game. I've always enjoyed the Smash Brothers games. The, for me, I was a little overwhelmed because there's a lot of options to choose from, like tons of characters. But it was cool. I liked it. Yeah, I mean, I, um, so my friends and I went to Evo in Las Vegas last year. Yep. Uh, that was the first actual video game competition tournament that I've ever actually been to. It was so much fun. I have to, I'm going back this year. Uh, I've never, I, I mean, I played a little bit of the Super Smash Brothers games. I dabbled a little bit here and there, but I never really played them religiously or anything like that. Uh, but once you get into Evo, it's it's ten dollars to actually sign up for the tournaments. So I figure, what what do I have to lose? If I lose ten dollars, who who the fuck cares? Yeah. So, man, my dog. Yeah. Outside. I was like, where is he? Because <laughs> you can smell him, but you can't see him. I might have to excuse myself to light some more incense. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I entered into uh, <laughs> I entered into a tournament at uh, in, at Evo. It's a tournament in La a video game tournament in Las Vegas. I uh, played Super Smash Brothers Wii U. I got crushed, of course. Uh, the second game, uh, so it's a double elimination. The second game that I played in, uh, I actually hung in there. I, I came pretty close to winning that second uh, game that I played, but unfortunately, I fell short. Uh, I always play Link uh, whenever I play competitively. I don't. I'm not good. I'm, when I when I say that I play competitively, it doesn't mean that I'm any good. <laughs> it just means that if I am playing competitively, that's who I play with is Link. Uh, Apparently Sam says Link sucks, or he's like a third tier player or something. Yeah, like that. he's like he's garbage, <laughs> trash. Yeah, trash. <laughs> Sam is uh, Brad's son. I don't know. I was playing with Link, and this is my, like my first time playing with it, and it, he seemed pretty good. But of course, I'm not playing against like right. Japs. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I wouldn't have put it that way. <laughs> Actually, the guy that won the tournament was a uh, American black dude. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. Of course, he had a, he had like a gamer name, uh, but yeah, he won it all. It was really it was awesome to watch. Like Frost? No, it wasn't Frost. Man, I, I'm disappointed that I don't remember his name right now. I'll probably remember it by the end of the podcast, and I'll shout it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah. Super Smash Brothers Wii U is a great game. I, like I said, I'm planning on going again this year, and I will enter again this year, and I will get smashed again, but it will be a lot of fun. Yeah, it'll always be fun. Mm. Treasure hunting? Oh, yeah. Mm. You guys can do treasure hunting, but we still got individual games of the week as well. Oh, um, yeah, let's go back to that. Yeah, we should go back to that before we move on. I've been playing God of War for PS4. I'm not going to say a lot in terms of storyline because I don't want to spoil anything because I hate when things are spoiled for me. But I'll tell you, this game is far superior than the other three that are out there for PlayStation. I know there's like the Havsy games like Ascension and Chains of Olympus. I don't count those as real games because they're on the PSP. But um, this God of War is awesome. They have options where, I don't know if you remember me playing it, but when Kratos like open stores or something you have to keep slamming x to yeah. open it this lets you choose to option where you just hold down the button instead of mashing so i really like that uh, i also like the combat in this game i'm playing on the very difficult mode there's 
easy mode, which they call tell me a story or give me a story. Then they have normal mode, which is give me an adventure. Then they have give me a challenge, which is hard mode. Then give me God of War, which is fucking hard. <laughs> the first battle, I die. Like, you die in two hits on this um, mode until you get stronger. But the first battle, I only had to fight two in two enemies at a time, and I was dying left and right because I'd get used to the controls. But now it's pretty fun now that it's uh, I got used to the controls. But super fun game, and I enjoy playing it. What you got? Uh, I've been playing Undertale for the PlayStation 4. I finished Elliot Quest, which was really fun. I platinumed it. Now I'm on Undertale, which I already platinumed. You don't need to do get very many trophies to platinum it. But, really? Uh-huh. Huh. Um, Did you beat it yet? Mm-mm. And you platinumed yeah, it? Yeah, Sam was shocked, <laughs> That's too. That's funny. Yeah, Sam was really shocked. He was watching me play it, and he was like, "Oh, you already platinumed it." It's like, I guess I did, but it is very. It's a role-playing game. It, it you're a boy. It doesn't tell your gender. You're a boy, girl, whatever. In third gender. Yeah, in hell. Um, <laughs> you're in call, hell. Call yeah. back. And and you uh, have to try to escape the land of the monsters, and the battle system's real fun. It's like the graphics are like Earthbound, so that's what drew me to it. And they've got these uh, characters in there. They're all wacky characters. They've got funny dialogue. You could play the game uh, uh, genocide mode, which is you kill everything you see. Uh, pacifist, where you escape and you have to use different maneuvers to not damage the enemy. Oh, and wow. there's normal mode, where you could fight enemies and level up. You have to beat it on neutral first, and then you can go back and try pacifist and genocide. But I guess pacifist is really hard because you never gain levels, you stay on level one. And so you need to maneuver your way through the battles and dodge and it's pretty cool. So on pacifist mode, if you kill someone, is it game over? It's not game over, you just don't get the pacifist ending. Oh, okay. Huh. Because if you don't kill some of the bosses, uh, they'll show up later in the game. But if you kill them, they're dead. So. I guess the, the pacifist run is what I'm really looking forward to. Okay. That's going to be fun. So, out of 1 through 10, what would you recommend it? An 8. Okay. It's, it's a solid game. Very solid game. It doesn't seem like it's going to be too long, but it's it's solid. Okay. Cool. Uh, I was planning on playing a lot of Earthbound, and I got a little bit... Oh, I, I'm almost done with Tucson, uh, yeah. the second town, or the second section of Eagleville, Eagle Land. Eagle Land. <laughs> Eagle Land. Uh, but, uh, as I was progressing through that game, I went up to Reading with Gay Box Tim and a friend of ours named Justin, and uh, I made a deal that if I won money at this casino that we were going to, that I would buy Overwatch and play it with them. So I kind of got roped into playing Overwatch with him because I did well up in Reading. I won like, I think I won like 80 bucks while I was there. Uh, so anyway, I started playing Overwatch on my PC uh, maybe like three or four days ago. I probably put like, I don't know, maybe like three or four hours into it so far. It's definitely different from anything that I've ever played. It's not, it's not a game that I would ordinarily play. Um... I do play a game called Rocket League, which is an online game, uh, and that's obviously a much more simple game. I'm sure we're all we're talking to gamers here, so everyone's probably familiar with what Rocket League and what Overwatch is. Very different games, but to me, I lump them in the same category because they're just online games to me. Uh, but the thing I like about Rocket League is that it's uh, everyone is playing on the same level. Everyone has the exact same capabilities. Uh, I mean, of course, the skill is what's going to come into play, whereas with Overwatch... There's like 25 different characters you can choose from. Everyone does something entirely different from the other. So you it, you kind of have to pick a character based on what the other team's character is to like counter whatever yeah. that character's powers are. And then and it, within the game, you can actually switch characters back and forth, and it's kind of a chess match. I guess that part is kind of interesting. I'm not good enough for it to really matter at this point. Uh but so far, I'm, I gotta admit, I am enjoying the game. Uh, I, like right now, I, I kind of do want to go and play it right now. Uh, but Smash Brothers Wii U is 
infinitely more fun than Overwatch if you're if you're gonna ask me. Uh, but it's fun. Um, so I've been playing for for your Overwatch fans out there. I've been playing mostly as a healer named Moira. Uh, what her power is, she'll uh, she can deliver healing to her allies, and then she'll suck energy out of her uh, foes with her right hand. She also has these like orbs that she does the same thing with. She'll heal her allies, attack foes with the other. And then uh, she has this maneuver where she can like basically zip from one side of the screen to the other and she's invinci invincible for maybe a second or two. And the other character that I've been playing a lot is a, it's, he's a tank class named Roadhog. Uh, he looks kind of like a, like a uh, S&M version of Ganon almost. Oh. <laughs> uh, and his, his deal is that he's super powerful, that's, he's a tank, uh, so he can take a lot of damage. He has this ability that he can actually heal himself, so he can take damage and, hit, and then in the midst of that, he can actually heal himself. He doesn't depend on a healer. Uh, but he has a couple of pretty decent guns. Uh, he has like a short-range uh, shotgun and like a mid-range shotgun. And then he also has like a, a hook that he uses kind of like scorpion style. Uh, and once you hook your opponent, you can pull him in close. You can actually pull them off of ledges or pull them into walls and things like that. But the other thing you can do is just pull them in close and then use your short range weapon. You can really do a lot of damage that way. Uh, so I've been playing with my friends, uh, Matty G. Uh, do we call him Matty G or do we have another name for him? Matty G. Just Matty G. Faggy G, now that we know he plays Overwatch. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matty G, uh, his brother Brian. Do we have a... Brian Guy. <laughs> yeah, Brian Guy. Yeah. The, uh, well, he was, like, the immune to the Shockmaster. I think he played, he, like, really played it because when he was getting shocked, like, on accident, and Brad, he was like, uh, that's me. Like, it bothered him. So I think he was, like, had an iron will not to break. Right. I think he could be broke, though. <laughs> Maybe with uh, Mr. Joel. Uh, Mr. Joel T. <laughs> Do it. Just bring it out real quick. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, we uh, bought a new punishment, guys. <laughs> it's called Mr. Joel T. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's basically a, a stun gun, a taser. <laughs> But we call it Mr. Jolty because I think the name's cute. <laughs> and this is going to be coming in uh, oh, handy God. later during our games. <laughs> so I have to play with Matty G, Bry Guy, uh, Gay Box Tim, and my friend Justin, obviously. Uh, it's different from a lot of games that I play because I can play online. I play with a headset. I can talk with them. So I guess that aspect is kind of cool. I mean, a lot of the games that I play are one-player games uh, where I'm not really interacting with my friends as I do it. I just kind of talk about it later. But in this game, it really depends on teamwork in order to get anything done. So it's kind of, it's it's different. I, I'm just getting introduced to it. I've never really been into these kind of games, but it, it's fun. It's something different. So I, I'm into it and we'll see we'll see where it goes. My son Sam plays Overwatch, and the only thing I'll hear coming out of his room is Mercy, Mercy, Mercy! No, Genji, Genji! Wait, wait, wait! Moria, Moria! <laughs> they're just shouting out the character's name, so I don't know if that means go get the other character or what, or choose that character. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. So, I mean, I've only been playing for a couple hours uh, yeah. altogether. Uh, but a lot of times they'll call out, like, or at least Tim and Justin, the, the two players that I play with the most, will call out if there's like someone who's sniping or something like that, or uh, someone who is doing a lot of damage to uh, your party. It's most of the time this character named Junkrat who has this like spinning wheel attack that yeah. just is so devastating. I, I've died from it dozens of times just in a couple hours. And then there's this other character named Bastion who can turn himself into a turret essentially. And it just wipes out the whole field. So I mean, I don't, I don't know in your, in your particular instance, but that's what my players are usually talking about. Yeah. Is like who's basically kicking our ass, and, yeah. and where are they? Okay. Yeah. There's a ton of Overwatch porn out there. Yeah. I was, I had to turn my filter off on Reddit, and I had to block that subreddit because it kept coming up when I like would browse our all, like. I, like when that game came out, there were like tons of naked like DVAs and whatever the ladies' names are. Diva, Tracer. Yeah, 
and like tons of it. I'm like, okay, I guess. And I guess that's what they're into. It's interesting that you say that because just today uh, I was messaging with Justin and Gaybox Tim. And uh, Justin, they're they're always like recommending new characters to me because, like I said, there's like twenty something characters, and I've only played a couple of them so far. And he's like, "Oh, you should play May." And I was like, well, "Okay, what does May do?" And he's like, "Well, she does. She like builds up walls and she does things." And I was like, "Oh, okay. So she's like a defender. She's in she's in defense." And he's like, "Yeah, I used to play her all the time." And then he showed me a picture of his room, and like May is set up as his screen, say, or like uh, his background. Yeah. And then he has like one of those like uh, little, um, like miniature character things, uh, like a action figure of May sitting right oh, next the pop to the screen. Vinyl? Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of that term. So it seems like he might be into her in other wow. ways as well. I do not <laughs> find her attractive Crazy. at all. <laughs> Surprise. Look at that. <laughs> She's in like a snowsuit oh, kimono. Yeah. If, if if we get really good with this video feature, we'll have like a picture of May right here. She yeah. what she looks like. <laughs> that is not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Let's do treasure. Treasure. Yeah. How many items you got? One. Do you want me to go first? Go first. Cause I'm gonna do my jerk of the month, jerk of the week, and my treasure all in one. Are you okay. guys doing like legit treasure, or cause this is kind of an impromptu treasure? Like we weren't planning on doing this no, until like I, today or I, yesterday, maybe. I had treasure. I had found treasure, uh -huh. um, and I was saving it for the Shasta trip. Right. But since Brandon's like, oh, I'm bringing treasure. I was like, all right, I guess I'll bring mine too. Uh, but I went on the Antelope Yard Sale site again. It wasn't Antelope. It was like Citrus Heights or something. And they had GameCube games, five dollars each. I saw like a um, bunch of different bunk games at like Dora and Harry <laughs> Potter, and I was like, really? And then I found these two gems. Okay, Mario Party Five. You know how much that's worth? No, forty-three dollars. Wow, complete. Uh, oh, it's not complete. It's still worth $43. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my second... <laughs> Double Dash? Mario Kart Double Dash. Worth $45. Wow. Uh, I think this one's complete, yeah. Is this okay? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Um, I actually tested them on the Wii and they work, so... Okay. Yep. So... I got 90 bucks. It only cost me 10 bucks, $5 each. Damn. So, nice. So I went to Goodwill. I had to take my dog to the veterinary clinic, and the only one that had an appointment was down in South Sac. So I was like, whatever, I'll just drive down there. So as I took my dog to the vet, and they had to do fecal matter analysis, so I had a half hour to spare while they did that. And... I went to the Goodwill that was down the street. Five gray gold, not gray gold, five NES carts. Yeah, gray gold. Yeah. I thought I said go gold for some reason. But do you know where they were? They were in the display case, but underneath um, a purse. So they were like kind of hidden. Okay. So I went there and I said, hey, can I check out these games? And the guy was like, oh, sure, just a second. And he walks over and he says, oh, uh, we don't have any games. And <laughs> I said, there's some right there. You can't see it if you're back there, but it, those aren't for sale. <laughs> I said, then why are they in the display case? And then he said, well, we're holding them for an employee. Oh. Dude. <laughs> so I said, uh... <laughs> You're not supposed to hold games. <laughs> you can't hold anything. No, you can't hold anything at Goodwill. Because I tried that with Xena Warrior Princess and you can't hold games. So, um, the guy was like, yeah, I'm sorry. we can't." I said, can I speak to a manager? And then he was like, uh, the, the manager is not available. <laughs> <laughs> so, I walked over to the, uh, just walk around the aisle just looking for someone else. And I found this one dude, and I was like, hey, can you get your manager? He's like, why, what's the issue? I said, well, there's some games over here that I want to buy, but the guy said they're being held for an employee. He's like, 
they can't do that. <laughs> nice. So he walked over to the to the thing, and you could see the other guy like kind of blocking the games. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so I, I was like, so so the guy that was helping me went behind. He was like, hey, can we get these games? I was like, uh, those aren't for sale. And the guy gave him this look, like, what are you talking about? And so he t- the guy who was helping me took him out, and he, and he was like, there's no prices on these. And then so I, I was like, can I see them? They had Trog, they had Super Mario Duck Hunt, they had Track and Field 2, one other game, and then this game. Pick a random Trog. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. shit! If you guys can't see, that's fucking Mega Man One. Ah, uh, that's Mega for Man for NES. Uh, that's crazy. So I said I want this game, and the guy's like, "Well, there's not a price tag on it." I took out twenty dollars, threw it at the guy, I said thanks, and I just walked out with it. And the guy was like, "I was going to see if he was going to put it in his pocket or not, but he didn't." So I was like, "There you go," and I just walked out with it. There was no way I was passing that game up. <laughs> wow. Damn. How much is that worth? 56. So, I lose. <laughs> I think we should just do uh, Mr. Jolty since we don't have a, <laughs> we don't have a prize punish. I have, I have it right here. I have, I'm not getting fucking missed. You already jolted me today. It wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> it fucking hurt. <laughs> Are you sure you want to risk your nuts for a shock tap when you just get Mr. Jolty real quick? I'm, I'm pretty sure this game show is rigged for me to get Mr. Jolty. It's not, okay. It's really not. No, I think I'll take my chances with the uh, punishment list. You could get uh, fingernail clippings to the teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I need, to, you need me to do like a random... Number generator, or how's this gonna work? Yeah, ran, I guess random number generator. <laughs> I don't think I, I have to download it real quick. <laughs> Are you yeah, time? Yeah, I think we just do Mr. Jolty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where would you do it? Just on your like butt right here. <laughs> Come on, let's just do it real quick. Get it over oh, with, then we can go man. into 8 bit corner. <laughs> oh, we could do this and then go into 8 bit corner. Oh, this, you guys are crazy. You're going to do this? Might as well. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> do I have to sit down? Cause you sit, no, just like bend over like this. <laughs> I guess you don't want your ass on. I want Nick to do it because I could see you holding it for heck of a long time. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't trust myself to do that. Are you going to do it through the clothes? Yeah, through the clothes. All right, hold Unless on. you want to pull your thing down. Uh, I don't want to do this. It'll be fast. Yeah, it'll be fast, but I've already been jolted. And you were just fine. It fucking hurt. <laughs> don't, don't. Do you want to do it through the clothes? It'll probably absorb most of the damage. I. That's highly doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Can you just? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> you motherfucker! Did it hurt? Did it hurt? <laughs> I don't scream. I have a high tolerance for pain. <laughs> that it was on me. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do another one? I think the video caught out. We need to do another one. I don't think it did. I think Nick was watching it the whole time. <laughs> did it get picked up okay, Nick? I, I looked okay. I mean, no, it looked horrible. Let's do it again. 
Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Can you have me a Kleenex? <laughs> <laughs> I dribbled a little bit. <laughs> oh, your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. That's real, man. So it didn't like to, like, it doesn't do anything to the clothes? You do it through his clothes? Yeah. No damage? There was, like, the, it wasn't really, a, um, like a, like a huge shock. It's like a, <laughs> like a bee sting, kind of, like a bite. So, <laughs> did it incapacitate you? <laughs> like, do you think if you were charging at me and I did, you, you'd keep charging? We could try that on another pod. <laughs> we do right now. No, we can't. That's the 8 big corner. Is that what we have next? Yep. Your punishment's over. Oh, we should have saved you to the end. Oh, darn. <laughs> we still need this for the collection, right? No. We have my gun on? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so we can sell that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you want me to go first with the 8 bit corner? Sure. You have two games, though, don't you? I, I have two games. Do you want to the do the one? first one's really quick. It probably makes sense for me because I have prizes to do them both at, at once. I think I, uh, I can muster a prize. One. Single. You don't have to give a price. I have something that I got for free. Okay. <laughs> That's the like best kind away. of prizes. <laughs> honey? <laughs> no, not honey. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Do you want this pencil to keep score? Oh, that's probably a good idea. So, um... We talked last episode about box art trivia and uh, how much of a hassle it was for Brandon to do the box art trivia with his co-workers. So my wife and my daughter were nice enough to do some box art trivia for us. I picked out 15 games. Uh, so go ahead and uh, number 1 through 15, I guess. Or we, what we could do is you could read it out and then we could write it down. That's fine. And So you don't have to go through the list twice. My only concern with that, I, I agree with you. I, agree, I was going to do that. My only concern with that is that you'd have to like erase everything every time. Uh huh. So uh, I don't know. Or we could do like one through fifteen and just write the first one, and then we we could reveal. That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's, uh, we're gonna do five NES games, five SNES games, and five N sixty four games. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the concept, uh, I picked out fifteen games. I took uh, pictures of the box art trivia. Or excuse me, of the box art, I blacked out the names of the games so that my wife nor my daughter would be influenced by the names, uh, and then they had to give me a two to three sentence description of the game. Sometimes as many as like three words. It's probably going to be difficult on some of them. Okay. When you did this, Brandon, did you um did you record them? No, I um, didn't. I, I'm almost thinking that like maybe in the future if we do this, it, it'd be more funny if we played like their act the actual recording of them describing the I game. I think so too. Yeah. I, I took a voice recording of it, uh, just figuring that I would uh, write it down afterwards, like type everything out, like that's exactly what I did here. Uh -huh. uh, but it would almost be more fun to actually have them read the or yeah. uh, say the description rather than me like do an impersonation of them reading it. Uh huh. Out. Do you want to do that? Just play them. I don't know. That it, it would. It might not sound so uh -oh. good right now. <clears throat> yeah, so in the future we could do that. It's just a thought. Alright. So uh, I'm gonna read them out one by one, so we'll just do we'll just handle them all one one by one and I'll tell you who gave the description on each one. So this first one is an NES game and this is Melissa's description of the box art. She says Michael Jackson with a horse and a helicopter standing on top of a city. Ooh. I don't think I have a guess for that one. I think she was drunk when she said this. Oh, did she drink? No. Oh. <laughs> she barely ever drink. Oh. Um. <laughs> my point is that it wasn't. It's, you're, you're probably not gonna get this. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't have an yeah, answer. Right. Minus sign. No answer. Brad. Neither Brad nor Brandon have an answer. So, I also uh, have copies of what oh, I showed cool. to them. Oh, nice. So that you could see what she was looking at. The game was Hudson Hawk. 
Oh. So you can see kind of how that yeah. guy up top looks like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Uh, as far as like where a horse. I guess there is a horse right there. Mm -hmm. There's a horse right there. So I guess she's right. I didn't even see the horse to be honest with you. Did you print those out here or at your work? Here. Here. Okay. I wouldn't use my county color printer. That's heckin' nice. Like I was looking at that. Like, that could be <laughs> art. You can hang out on the wall. <laughs> All right. So we got zeros here. <clears throat> Alright, the next one was done by my daughter Rosa and her description of this game. We're gonna have a hard time with this one too. Okay. I see a bear standing and then somebody else just walking. That's all I see. Holy shit. <laughs> um <laughs> shoot. Oh, <laughs> no, I put Wizards and Warriors. I put Scrog. No, neither of those are correct. Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers. <laughs> it's a fucking polar bear. <laughs> it's a bear. At least she got the bear. She could have at least said like it was like a, like he was holding the hammer or something. Maybe, like yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> and he's not exactly walking. He looks like he's jumping based on the little lines coming off behind him. All right, so we got the zeros all around. Next one, uh, this is the description was given by Melissa. I see palm trees, big leaves, kind of looks like a creepy Hawaii. Oh man. I know this is probably wrong. Star Tropics. Star Tropics. Adventure right. Island. <laughs> it had to be one of the two. Yep, it was Star Tropics. That's what I showed her right there. Nice. Oh, okay. This one was also for, so Brandon got that one. Uh, Melissa gave this description, also an NES game. I see a skeleton guy dressed up as a granny, and he's got like a rug underneath him, standing in like a creepy looking building. Hmm. <clears throat> Uninvited? Shadow Game? Oh, uh, Brandon got it. Ooh. That's what I was trying to think of was un Uninvited. Ooh. Let me see that beautiful artwork. One moment. Shoot. That's Uninvited yeah. right there. That's what I was trying to think of. Tight. <laughs> <clears throat> this last one was from Rosa. Her description of the game is they're trying to fight a bad guy so they can save their life <laughs> um, it's so much more funny like if I actually could play the audio recording mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right. I put Ninja Turtles 3 I put bad dudes. <laughs> this one was Wizards and Warriors. Oh! <laughs> Wizards and Warriors <laughs> so we got Brandon at two, Brad at zero. So we're going to do one through five for SNES games now. Yep. This one was from my daughter Rosa. She's, she starts to give better descriptions here. I see a big coin with lightning and thunder, and then it's striking the pyramids. <laughs> Act Razor. Act Razor. Yeah, you guys both got that one. Dang it, why couldn't you got that one wrong? Act Razor. <laughs> Alright, so we got three to one. Brandon leads. This one was from Melissa. Charles Barkley about to make a dunk. I think that's Charles Barkley. I put Shut Up and Jam. Shut Up and Jam. It's Barkley Shut Up and Jam, but I'll give it to you. So we got four to two. 
I've never played that game. <laughs> if you care to see it, it literally is Charles Barkley about to dunk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Rosa. A dragon with its tongue out that looks kind of creepy, and it's black. It can't be that game. I don't have a guess. Draken? Oh. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Dang. Perfect description. <laughs> it really was. I thought you guys would get that one. Uh, so still four to two. Uh, we're on the fourth question for SNES. And this one is from Melissa. She says, Bon Jovi and some race cars. Rock and Roll Racing, Formula One. <laughs> it's Rock and Roll Racing. Ooh. So five to two, Brandon leads. There's the box art. I of course blacked out the the writing there. Mm -hmm. Last one for the SNES category. This one is from Rosa. <laughs> it's a very short description. She says, "I see boxing men." And that's it. Super Punch Out? Super Punch Super Out. Super Punch Out's correct. Bald Bull, Super Boxing Macho Man, Man, and Mr. Sandman there. Have you played that game? I love this game. Yeah. I remember I would fight with Matt, our little brother, too get the shortest times oh yeah and oh, that was there was a nintendo power about that that was like one of the ones that i actually tried to like set records for uh -huh. um i mean i never did but uh some of the records were absurd like four seconds yeah. five seconds on some different characters but yeah yeah I, there's I do that as well. there's specific um actions you have to do and they'll just go straight down right 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 all right, so we're on to the N64 character, or category, rather. This is from Melissa. She says, Some really creepy-looking dude with knives in him, and one is going right through his nipple, and some machine on his arm. Uh, <laughs> this is Nintendo 64? Yeah. And can you read it one more time? Some really creepy-looking dude with knives in him, and one is going right through his nipple. And some machine on his arm. Holy cow. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to heat up here to come back, Brad. Oh, shoot, 60. this is a Nintendo 64. That's a Super Nintendo game. <clears throat> I don't have a guess. I have a mace. You don't recognize that game? War Gods? It's called Bio Freaks. That's oh. it, yeah. <laughs> I've only seen that Bio picture. Freaks. I've never seen any of the <laughs> gameplay or anything. I've never played it either, but I, I know that I've seen the game a lot of times. A bunch of times. Alright. This is Rose's description of an N64 game. She says, I see somebody with big, long eyes, and like something bad is about to happen. And he has a bomb, and there are other guys behind him. Oh man! <laughs> I don't have a guess. Bomberman sixty four. Yeah, Brad's gonna make a comeback here. It is Bomberman sixty four. There's the big long eyes. Does it work? Yeah. In case you can't yep. see. Big long eyes. Man, and he is carrying a bomb. Yep. All right, we got six to four. Brad is still alive. This description is from Melissa. Red, oh, okay. I'm going to read it as she said it. Yep. It's not a complete sentence. <laughs> Red car driving through kind of looks like the car is moving. That was all she said. 
this is wrong. Cruising USA. Oh, score. Brandon got it. Oh. <laughs> There's Cruising USA. Yep. It's another Melissa description of an N64 game. Some creepy guy in a red suit with fire going around, and he's holding a sword. Mace the Dark Age. Uh, you've got it the second time. <laughs> it is Mace the Dark Age. Alright, just for kicks. For your honor, Brad. You yeah. have to get this one right. Okay. I'm, I'm confident that you will. Rosa does a good job with this one. Here's Rosa's description of an N64 box art. It's simply... A man trying to kill a dinosaur. <laughs> Turok! Turok it is. <laughs> Take a tight. Alright, so the final tally is Brandon with nine, Brad with five. One moment, let me get a prize for you. I hope it's a fucking Mr. Jolty. <laughs> Did you really pee yourself? No, I didn't. <laughs> so I know we're living in the digital age, and uh, CDs don't mean much anymore. But I still like to collect CDs. I've already had I already had this CD, but this CD came with my purchase of a ticket. So this copy of Metallica oh, 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 Self Destruct. That's tight. In the plastic covering. Unopened. Goes to Brandon. Yes, I'm actually going to listen to this. Complete. It's complete. Holy shit. <laughs> and it's the double disc version. Is <laughs> this a new label, Black and Recordings? I don't know. I didn't look into it that thoroughly. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay. All right. My go? Yeah, do, do we need whiteboards? Uh, yeah, for the first game. So, I have my first game, I have two games. Uh, it's called Dear Diary. I uh, did diary entries for different characters in games. And, uh, do you have that pencil? Yep. And, um, you guys have to guess the character um, that's saying the diary entry. Um, so, here's the first one Dear Diary. I'm getting sick of everyone telling me that they only like me for two big obvious reasons. <laughs> I overheard Brad from Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia say that I wasn't an optimal mate because he would break me. <laughs> LOL, I don't even know what that means. He obviously doesn't know me because I could hold my own in a fight. My fists could be registered as lethal weapons. <laughs> Yeah. Are we doing the characters or the game? The character. Oh, okay. Sorry. I brought down FF7 Tifa. Yep. You both get a point. Next one. Dear Diary, I killed the Mist Dragon today. The summoner ended up being some snot-nosed kid's mom. Do I give a shit? Hell no. My life has been hell ever since my childhood crush started going out with my best friend. I don't know why the king chose my friend to be his dark knight. We all know he's a pussy at heart. He doesn't know true evil like I do. <laughs> this is a, a very stiff Jack and Coke, so I, th I, I think I know what you're saying, but I might have misconstrued. Kane? God damn Kane. it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it sounded like you were describing a woman's diary. I couldn't I couldn't fathom that Kane would 
write something like that. Who yeah. did you put? <laughs> Rosa. Rosa. I thought you said your mate. Uh, ever since my childhood crush started going out with my best friend. So Kane crushed on Rosa too. See, that's why I'm blaming this. <laughs> <laughs> I blocked out some of the words you said. Understone's about to come back. <laughs> Understone tombstone. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm glad you're uh, drinking alcohol. It's gonna increase your pain tolerance by tenfold. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, dear diary, today was a rough day. I just defeated King Koopa for the fifth time. He actually took a tip from the Hammer Brothers and tried throwing hammers at me. He did hit me with one that took my fire flower power away. So I just ran under him and knocked a bridge down into the lava. Then I walked up to this stupid mushroom-headed fucker. If he tells me the princess is in another castle one more time, he's getting thrown into a lava pit. Mario. 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 <laughs> Number four. How many are there? Uh, there's ten. Dear Diary, why does everybody on Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia hate me? I've saved the day on numerous occasions. I have a sweet armor and a cool helmet. Is it because I'm on an inferior console? Is it because I like to burn people's pets alive? Is it because I like to beat up homeless people? Or maybe because I rape little kids and sell them off to pedos? Whatever the reason, I'm sure if I got them to play my game, they would fall in love with me. Oh man. <laughs> I might be grossly wrong on this one. Master Chief. Yeah, I put Galo Guy. <laughs> I put Halo. I should have put Galo Guy, I should get credit for, but not Halo Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Dear Diary, all my friends are dead. We've come so close to saving the world, yet that madman ruined everything. I should just jump off the mountain on the northern mountain ledge and kill myself. I washed up on this island and the creep in the yellow jumpsuit keeps staring at me like I'm food. I'm getting a real rapey vibe from him. Maybe I'll go catch him some fish so he doesn't eat me. Which one is it? Sealess? Sealess. You guys say Sealess? Yeah. I say Celeste. I actually con contemplated naming my daughter that, but Melissa overrode my, my nomination. Number six. Dear Diary, I'm off to save the princess once again. I'm getting so sick of this shit. I mean, last time I saved her, I didn't even get a kiss. I eventually took what was mine to begin with, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this time she's in a deep slumber and won't wake up for anything. <laughs> I spent the last week violating her. I feel like fuck from Kill Bill. <laughs> I guess I should get back to my quest. I hope I don't say game over because if I do, I'll spawn right next to her. And Temptation is a son of a bitch. <laughs> Link. Link. Number seven, dear diary, I had no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do with this blue crystal ball. Someone in a town said I, to use it by a lake. I was so famished from my journey, I through the marshes and the killing countless skeletons, I had to sit down and take a rest by the lake. And lo and behold, a secret staircase appeared right before my eyes, which led me under the water, which helped because I couldn't swim to save my life. <laughs> Simon B. Yep. Simon Belmont. Number eight. Dear Diary, why do so many people hate me? I'm just not, I'm, I'm not just a side character. I'm actually part of the Royal Guard. They will regret not picking me on level two since I'm the fastest digger out of us four. Toad. That's right. Number nine. Dear Diary, my master loves to get into fights with giant monsters when he's not with his friends. 
I'm glad they waited for him at the giant island as the sky was falling. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. It makes me happy when Master tells me I'm a good boy after I take the attacks that were meant for him. <laughs> I hope Brandon from Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia doesn't try to step on my foot. <laughs> Interceptor. Interceptor. <laughs> Number 10, last one. Dear Diary, you will not believe this. I was captured and locked away in a tower by Lucifer. All for what? Just because I let Les fly my judgment and tried anal in the graveyard? <laughs> it didn't hurt that much because Arthur doesn't measure up, if you know what I mean. I hope that my knight in shining armor comes to get me soon. I'm starting to hate this cold stone room. Oh, look. There he is now killing Lucifer. He did it. Wait. What's he doing back at the graveyard? <laughs> Prin Prin? Prin Prin is I her could, name. I couldn't remember her name. I yeah. put Guinevere. It's Prin Prin. <laughs> Alright, first game's down. Brandon's ahead 10 to Nick's 8. Next oh, I game, got all 10? You got all 10. You had your good. <laughs> the next game. Mr. Jolty visits those who are hecka good. Oh, man. He, he likes to visit cocky bastards. <laughs> 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 Uh, this next game is in vain of who wants to be a millionaire. You guys can, oh, if you want, get one phone a friend. You can call anyone you want and ask them <laughs> a question. Nice. And you get a 50-50 where I'll take away half the answers. <laughs> uh, the different categories are worth different points. Like the first one is easy mode, worth one point each, so on and so forth, all the way up to legendary mode. So then if we get one wrong, we're not out? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, I did this in uh, numerical order, so I'll start with Nick's first. I did, um, I think, 20-something questions for each of you. It's all the same. Uh, so I'll ask you all your questions, and then I'll ask Brandon his questions. Easy mode for one point. Who would most likely use the Final Fantasy spell sleep in an unethical way? <laughs> Is it A, Rip Van Winkle, B, Don Quixote, C, someone who suffers from insomnia, or D, Bill Cosby? <laughs> D, Bill Cosby. That's right. <laughs> Number two, who is the main hero of Final Fantasy VII? Is it A, Sephiroth, B, Genova, C, Cloud, or D, Tiffus Tits? <laughs> Oh, man, that's a trick question. I'm going to go with the obvious answer and say C-Cloud. That's right. <laughs> Number three. On Mega Man 2, what is the dragon in Wily's castle weak against? Is it A, the metal blade? B, the quick boomerang? C, the leaf shield? Or D, AIDS? <laughs> AIDS. Uh, I'm pretty Pretty sure it's the quick boomerang. I'm gonna gamble and say it's the quick boomerang. You are right. Number four. In the original Castlevania, who is the second boss? Is it A, the giant bat? Oh, fuck. B, mummies? C, Medusa's head? Or D, a fish called Wanda? <laughs> um, can you can you repeat the answers, please? I'm yep. Sorry. The giant bat, mummies. Medusa's head, a fish called Wanda. Fuck. Is this is an easy category, asshole. <laughs> it's the giant bat? That's level, that's the first boss. It's two. No, I'm asking what the question is, I'm sorry. Who's the second boss? Can you, can yeah. you read the whole thing? <laughs> In the original Castlevania, who is the second boss? Oh, I think, who is the second boss? Yeah. I, think, I wasn't trying to, I really wasn't trying to swindle them, I swear. I, think, I, I was trying to ask them what the question was. Uh -huh. I think your, your drink was a little too strong. No, I swear, I, 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 I forgot what the question was okay. like, to, the, to begin with. So, the giant bat, mummies, Medusa's head. You know it's not a fish called Wanda. <laughs> I'm still probably going to get it wrong. <laughs> I swear I wasn't trying to swindle you, though. I wasn't trying to get it I believe it. So, obviously, it's one of the one of the two, um, Medusa's Head or Mummies. Yeah. Um, I, 
but I was not trying. I, I, I believe I wasn't doing that for any sort of gain. Like I was really trying to ask yeah. what the question was. Um, shit, I only played this game one time, and I played it really quick because it was one of our games of the week, and I just wanted to beat it. Um, So I'm gonna gamble then. Uh, so it's either Mummies or Medusa's head. I'm gonna say Mummies. It was Medusa's head. All right. Number five. Who is the stupidly annoying fairy who keeps Link, who helps Link in Ocarina of Time? Is it A. Tingle, <laughs> B. Navi, C. Ruto, or D. Kelly Larson? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Adventures of Link? No, uh, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time? Okay, Navi. Navi is right. Number six. Who is the gruff African-American character in Final Fantasy VII who has a gun permanently attached to his arm? Is it A, Reno, B, Vincent, C, Barrett, or D, Stefan Clark? Steve Barrett. That's right. <laughs> Say his name. <laughs> Number seven. In the NES classic, A Boy and His Blob, what does a cinnamon jelly bean do to Blobbert? A. That's his name? Blobbert? You knew that? No. Okay. A. Makes his mouth spicy. B. Turns him into a blowtorch. C. Makes him feel ashamed of himself. Or D, makes him shoot spicy diarrhea out of his anus. <laughs> B, uh, blow torch. That's right. Medium mode, two points each. In Street Fighter 2, four bosses appear after you defeat the eight world warriors. Who is the second boss you fight? A, Saget. B, Balrog. C, Vega. Or D, Mike Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> If I get if I get this wrong, that am I done? No, because I already, I, th I thought I thought you said I got like double elimination or something like that. No, I no, you I, get two I, points. I just keep going. You just keep going. Okay. You just don't get the points. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Um. So it's Balrog, Vega, or Saget. Yep. Does not make for good pot. I'm sorry. Um, I think it's ah, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Uh, we will eliminate. You can eliminate the. Mike you Hunt. have to it's okay. eliminate Mike Hunt. <laughs> it's okay. Balrog and Mike Hunt. So you have Saget, have Saget and or Vega. Vega. Okay. Um. Maybe you should have another drink. It might help you think. Vega. Vega is right. <laughs> Two points. Oh, that's right. In The Secret of Mana, who turns out to be the final boss of the Mana Beast? Is it A. Nall, B. Skipper, C. Flamey, or D. Tony Danza? <laughs> uh, what was the first one? Nall. I'll go with that. Incorrect. It was Flamey. Oh. I played that game so long ago, I don't remember the character's name. Number 10. I remember Sprite. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> In the Secret of Evermore, what is the famous Squaresoft couple which makes a cameo as shop owners? Is it A, Leviathan and Ashura, B, Cecil and Rosa, C, King and Queen Eblen, or D, Riberconte and Fusilia? Uh, B, Rosa and Cecil. That's right. Number 11. In Friday the 13th for the NES, what weapon do you start out with? A. Knife. B. Rock. C. Machete. Or D. Mr. Jolty. <laughs> uh, B. Rock. That's right. Question 12. In Bionic Commando, who are you trying to save that was taken as a POW? A. Mighty Max. B. Super Joe, C. Scuba Jeeve, Scuba, Scuba Steve, or D. Mega Jack? I feel uncomfortable. 
Are you calling someone? Yeah. Phone a friend. Who do you think he's calling? Maybe Tim or Maddie G. Hmm. That'd be heck of funny if they like gave him the wrong answer on purpose. <laughs> Hello? Hey Ryan, I'm on uh uh Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I need mean, I'm doing using my call my phone a friend on you. Okay. Do you know who the who I'm rescuing in the Bionic Commando video game? I know you played that recently. Uh, it was Super Joe. Alright, thanks. You're welcome. I'm gonna go with Super Joe. That is right. In Ghosts and Goblins, what weapon does Arthur not obtain in the game? A. Fire B. A cross C. Daggers or D. Morningstar A. Fire Incorrect. It was a Morningstar. No more playing around. Hard mode unlocked. <laughs> Three points each. Ooh. In Mega Man X, what stage do you find the Hadoken power up in? Is it A, Chill Penguin, B, Flame Mammoth, C, Spark Mandrill, or D, Armored Armadillo? D, Armored Armadillo. Correct. Number 15. In Metal Gear Solid, who has mind-reading powers that can read your mind and see what games you have been playing off your memory card? Is it A, Sniper Wolf, B, Liquid Snake, C, Volcanic Raven, or D, Psycho Mantis? B, Liquid Snake. It is Psycho Mantis. 16. In a Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES, name the power-up that does not exist in the game. A, Magician Power-up. B, Gymnast Power-up. C, Viking Power-up. Or D, Ninja Power-up. The Viking Power-up. Correct. Number 17. In Breath of Fire 2, what is the name of the half-human, half-feline character that joins your party? Is it A. She-line, B. Tigress, C. Cat, or D. Pooh Miss? A. She-line. It was Cat. 18. What is the blood code for Mortal Kombat for the Sega Genesis? Huh? Is it A. BCA, BCAB? B, C, A, B, C, A, B, A, <laughs> C, A, B, A, C, A, B, B, or D, A, B, B, A, C, A, B. A, B, C, A, D, B, Z, Z. No, B. I'll go with B. It was C. No <laughs> 19. In Castlevania Symphony of the Night, what item does the rare dodo bird drop? The A, Sword of Dawn, B, Fist of Tolkis, C, Rune Sword, or D. Gladius? D. Gladius. It was Rune Sword. Mm -hmm. Legendary questions. Good <laughs> luck. Five points each. I should have used my phone <laughs> for this. In Final <laughs> Fight, who is considered to be a transvestite? A. Abigail. B. Dallas. C. Sky. D. Shrapnel. E. Axel. F. Peter. G. Sheila. Or H, Poison? H. Poison is right. Ha, Poison's gamble. fucking hella hot for you. <laughs> <laughs> As you notice, you get eight answers, multiple choice on Legendary. What is the name of Eris' level 4 limit break in Final Fantasy VII? A, Refreshing Wind. B, Ultimate Protection, C, Holy Spirit, D, Great Gospel, E, Mighty Guard, F, Secret Seraphim, G, Glorious Chorus, or H, Silver Wind. C. It was D, Great Gospel. 22. Who drops Pooh's only weapon, the Sword of the Kings, in Earthbound with a 1 out of 128 drop rate? A. Shiny Samurai B. Tengu 
C, cute little UFO. D, the shattered man. E, ghost of Starman. F, petrified, petrified royal guard. G, Starman super. Or H, stinky ghost. What was, what was it? Ghost Starman? Ghost of Starman is E. I'll, I'll do that. It was G, Starman super. I thought it was Starman or something. Is that Link making that one? He's is he snoring? He just wants it side. Oh, okay. I'll go oh. outside as soon as my turn's over. In Shining Force 2, who is the only person you could promote using the Vigor Peach? A. Lisa. B. Constance. C. Francesca. D. Lilith. E. Sarah. F. Coraline. G. Carla. H. Andrea. E. Sarah, duh. That's duh. right. Duh. duh. Dang. Hecka good at that game. <laughs> <laughs> When did the former president of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, die? A. August 3rd, 2015. <laughs> B. July 11th, 2015. C. June 26th, 2015. D. May 19th, 2015. E. September 17th, 2015. F. October 14th, 2015. G, June 18th, 2015, <laughs> or H, March 15th, 2015. It's obviously E, September 17th, or whatever you said. It was July 11th. Are you serious? Uh -huh. I specifically didn't pick that one because that's my wife's birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about like how it couldn't have been that date because I would have known it. I would have associated the two. But... Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man, you should have picked that up. <laughs> Dang, heck of random. Yep. All right, in Final Fantasy IX, name the secret boss hiding in the Kokobo Sky Garden. A. Vargas. B. Cactar. C. Rama. Where are they hiding? In the Kokobo Sky Garden. It's a secret boss. Do you want me to start over? It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna. I don't know. <laughs> e. Ozma. <laughs> F. Veros. G. Master Tonberry. Or H. Gilgamesh. And where are they hiding? The Kokobo Secret, secret Gar the Sky Garden. Gilgamesh. It was Ozma. So your round's over. You did get it. Did you know all those? Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I hope there's no visit from Mr. Jolty here. No, I, I, I we won't do Mr. Jolty. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> okay. All right. How about if you get all of these right, you could Mr. Jolty me. That's fucking fabulous. <laughs> and I, got, I, I bet there's going to be some gay-ass baby questions on there. All right. All right. In W... Okay. Basic trivia. One point. Number one. In WWF World Rumble for Super Nintendo, whose special move is a tombstone pile driver? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dog. <laughs> is it A, The Undertaker? B, Kane? C, Razor Ramon? Or D, Trayvon Martin? <laughs> A, The Undertaker. <laughs> Number two. In Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, who is the first boss you fight? A, Gleelock? B, Horsehead? C. Aquamantis. D. Sarah Jessica Parker. Horsehead. <laughs> Would I have gotten uh, a point if I said Sarah Jessica Parker? No. <laughs> Three. Brad, screwed in just a little bit. It's good. It's good. It's good. In Final Fantasy VII, which of these weapons is not a weapon of mass destruction? A. The Emerald Weapon. B. The Ruby Weapon. C. The Ultimate Weapon. Or D, Tiffa's titties. <laughs> Which is not yes. D, Tiffa's boobs. <laughs> Number four. This character was voted most. This character was voted most annoying character in video game history on Reddit. Who was it? A, Bubsy the Bobcat. B, Link. C, Samus. Or D, Kelly Larson. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Pepsi the Bobcat. Right. <laughs> Was that really a thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> in Final Fight, what food item appears when you knock over a trash can in barrels? 
A barbecue, B Twinkies, C Big Macs, or D Poontang? Hmm. A barbecue. Number six. In Silent Hill 2, who is the giant knife wielding monster who torments James throughout the game? Is it A Valtiel, B the Butcher, C Pyramid Head, or D OJ Simpson? Pyramid Head. Number seven. In what video game do you hear the term shake shake over and over again screamed by the game's hero? A. Colicky Babies Part 2 Revenge of the Babysitter. B. We Fit Shake Weight Edition. C. Mischief Makers. D. Michael J. Fox tries to order a hamburger. Part 2. Do you want fries with that shake? <laughs> Mischief makers, right. Intermediate questions, two points. In Shining Force 2, who are the first three friends that join your party? Is it A, Sarah, Jaha, and Chester? B, Sarah, Chester, and Lemon? C, Peter, Chester, and Jaha? Or D, Azrael, Sarah, and Chester? A. Right. Nine. In Final Fantasy VII, what is Aerith selling when you meet her? A. Desserts B. Flowers C. Chocolates D. Herself <laughs> Oh, that's... Oh, man. I think he started out the game as a prostitute. I'll go with B. Flowers. That's right. Should I be getting two points? Oh, yeah. Uh, one, two. Three, you're not three, competing four. against me. You're competing against Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Jolty is ass. In Super Mario RPG, what is the name of Yoshi's rival during the Yoshi race races on Yoshi's Island? A. Doshi. B. Johnny. C. Booster. D. Boshi. Boshi. Sorry. In the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. What is the sub weapon you get from the Palace of Darkness? A. The Cane of Birna. B. The Flame Rod. C. The Magical Hammer. D. The Cane of Sumeria. Ooh, that's a hard one. In the Dark Palace? Yes. The Palace of Darkness. What were they again? The Cane of Birna. The Flame Rod. The Magical Hammer. The Cane of Sumeria. Cane of Samaria. Magical Hammer. Uh, Number 12. In Mike Tyson's Punch Out, which character do you only face once? Don Flamenco, Bald Bull, Piston Honda, or Great Tiger? Great Tiger. In Chrono Trigger, there is a time when Luca can go back in time to save her mother's legs from getting amputated when her dress gets caught in the machine that caused said accident. What is the code to stop the machine? A. Down Y Down Y B. L A R A C. L A L A or D. Down A R A Laura L A R A That's right. Hard mode number 14. In Simon's Quest, what does the garlic do? A. Damages nighttime monsters only. B makes you walk faster in the marsh. C summons gypsies. D stuns enemies that walk all over it. Summons gypsies. That's right. Number 15. In what level do you fight and recruit Alucard in Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse? A4, B5, C6, D3. 4. It's 5. Yeah. Number 16. Which elemental floor is the mass immune acquired on Final Fantasy 1 in the Temple of Chaos? Is it the earth floor, the air floor, the water floor, or the fire floor? Air. That's right. What time do you have to put on the clock to obtain the chainsaw in Final Fantasy 6? 11 10 50, 8 10 50, 6 10 50, or 10 11 50? 6 10 50. That's right. Remember that shit. 
It's a gift. <laughs> How many Pokemon are there in Pokemon Snap? A63, B54, C58, D49. Fifty-three. Sixty. There's no fifty-three. <laughs> it was sixty-three. Oh, okay. In the cult classic Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which of these levels is not an actual name of a level? A. Dances with Werewolves. B. Monster Phobia. C. Dr. Tongue's Castle of Fright. D. Zombie House Party. A. I uh, would see Dr. Tongue's Castle of Fright. Really? Mm -hmm. Which is not a level? Mm -hmm. No, okay. Legendary tier, five points each. What is Master Chief's home planet named? A. Andromeda <laughs> XP. B. Vesuvius 14. C. Cortanic AI. D. Ulysses 54. E. Prime Alpha 4. F, Aradius 2, G, Gamma Sigma 3, or H, Argentine 32. <laughs> Who are you calling? Oh, I don't have his phone number in here. I was going to call Gay Box Tim. <laughs> I can give it to you. you right. it. Yeah. Is he awake right now? Ha, it might be past his bedtime. What time is it? Almost 10. This is going to be funny because, like, I'm, last time he called me, like, I got mad at him because we never called each other. Like, he's <laughs> called me, like, once in, like, 10 years of, like... That's hilarious. <laughs> speaker. If you, you want, if you want to put it on speaker, you can. See? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, this is Brandon from Treasure from Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. I was wondering if Tim is around. Tim is playing a game. Does he have time to help me out on a question here? You have time to help Brandon out on a question from tre Treasure Hunting. Treasure Hunting. <laughs> this is good pod. <laughs> oh, now he's excited. Yes. <laughs> Um, this is the first time I've ever called you. <laughs> hey, so I've got a question here. We're playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And I have a phone a friend. And I figured that you're the expert on gay box stuff. So here's my question. What is Master Chief? What is Master Chief's home planet named? Is it A, Andromeda XP? B, Vesuvius 14, C, Cortanic AI, D, Ulysses 54, E, Prime Alpha 4, <laughs> F, Aradius 2, G, Gamma Sigma 3, or H, Argentine 32. Are you asking me to use help or for music purposes? No, this is a my phone a friend from the game show we're playing. And there's. I could bet you a guess, but I've never played anywhere. <laughs> what would your guess be? Uh, whichever one sounds the least ridiculous. We're going with Ulysses. <laughs> Incorrect. It was Aradius 2. Alright, we got it wrong. Oh, that was stupid. I'm sorry. No, you stopped calling me Gabe Ox Tim because I've never played Halo. <laughs> Maybe. We'll think about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Are you playing Are you playing Overwatch? Okay. Okay. Alright, well, we're going to get back to potting. Thanks a lot. Bye.
What the fuck, fuck dude? Yeah. She she came on with some ferocity. <laughs> she was like, "Why the fuck are you? Why the me? fuck are you calling this phone?" <laughs> the, there's history behind that because that's how I answered. He called me like for the first, like I said, for the first time in my lifetime, basically. And that's how I answered. I said, "What the fuck are you calling me?" <laughs> so, <laughs> and it really annoyed you. Uh, not really. Oh, okay. We, what, we was were it like a... texting back and back and forth. Oh, it's because I I have this new iPhone eight. Well, it's not new to most people, but it's the iPhone eight s eight plus. Uh, and I upgraded from like an iPhone five s or something like that. So it's a pretty big upgrade. And I was having technical difficulties with it, and I was going back and forth with Tim and Justin because they are iPhone loyalists. Mm-hmm. And uh, eventually Tim called me because he was tired of text messaging me back and forth. So I said, why the fuck are you calling me? <laughs> there you go. All right, question 21. What is the final level called on Halo 1? A, the Lone Highway. B, Dust. C, the Boneyard. D, the Pit. E, Cortana. F, the Maw. E, Aradius 2. Or H Valhalla. I don't know. Valhalla. It was the Ma. Mm-hmm. Twenty-two. In Robocop versus Terminator, how long in button presses is the R-rated code? This unlocks female enemies, blood, and skeletons. A twenty-eight. B twenty-nine. C thirty. D thirty-one. E thirty two, F twenty seven, G thirty three, H twenty six. For some reason, I would say thirty. Thirty is right. Question twenty three. In the secret of mana, which of these is not a mana spirit? Summon monster. A dryad, B shade, C wisp, D undyne. E spark, F gnome, G gin, H salamander. Wisp. It was spark. Uh. When did Sh- Nintendo Legend Shigeru Miyamoto born? When was Nintendo Legend Shigeru <laughs> Miyamoto born? In 1952. On what date? A October 21st. B November 16th. C December 18th. D, January 14th, E, February 14th, F, March 21st, G, April 4th, H, May 14th. Valentine's Day. It was November 16th. Which of these is not an official Mutant League football team? (laughs) A, Road Warriors. B, War Slammers. C, Midway Mutants. D. Vile Vulgars, E. Rad Rockets, Rad Rockers, F. Screaming Evils, G. Slay City Slayers, or H. Turbo Techies. B. It was C. Medway Mutants. So it looks like with that being said, Nick had 37 points. 37. That means an automatic win, right? 41 to 37. 37. So, I've got some prizes. Brandon will get a pick first. Nick will get the leftovers. Huh. We have a pop vinyl Rick. Oh. Prison Break Rick from Rick and Morty. Or we have a Stranger Things Dustin. That's cool. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Rick. Cool. Thanks, Brad. You're welcome. It's cool. So, have we done our JOTWs? I did mine. I guess we skipped your guys's. So go, you guys could go and do your JOTWs. Do you want to do it still? I don't care. I don't. I don't have to. I'll do it real quick. So um, I I I hate that my last two JOTWs have to do with my uh, affiliation with the Sacramento Kings, but I got I got to do it. Um, so I go to sporting events in other cities from time to time. 
uh, which means that occasionally I buy tickets at arenas that are not local to me. Uh, most recently, I went to a WWE SmackDown event in Oakland at, oh, the, shit. at the Oakland? Golden State Warriors Arena. <laughs> so occasionally, I get emails from Oracle Call uh, Oracle Arena, where the Golden State Warriors play, hyping up the Golden State Warriors in their playoff run, and this pisses me off to no end. As a Kings fan. I fucking hate the Warriors. I want them to fucking lose in the worst way possible. So basically, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. My jerk of the week is any fucking arena or coliseum that thinks I have I care two shits about your sports team just because I went to an event at your particular venue. I don't fucking care about the Warriors. I fucking hate the Warriors. If I went to a Warriors game, I would want them to lose badly. <laughs> I, I get the same shit from because I went to that uh, WrestleMania in Dallas a few years ago. I get fucking Cowboys shit all the time. Just because I went to AT&T Stadium one time. Fucking just knock that shit off. I don't give a fuck about the Cowboys. I know Troy Aikman, the greatest quarterback ever played there. But, I mean, I, 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 if I again, if I went to a Cowboys game, I would be rooting for them to lose. That's the only reason I would ever go to a Cowboys game. So fuck you guys, you sporting teams that think that I want to go to your uh, fucking games just because I went to an event at one of your venues. You're the jerk of the week. What? Wh- who would you root for if the Cowboys were playing the Giants? The Cowboys were playing the Giants? The New York Giants? Um, honestly, I, I don't really care that much about football. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I guess I'd probably root for the Giants. Okay. How about the Cowboys and the Warriors. <laughs> I definitely root for the Cowboys. <laughs> I, I I think there's like 52 players on a football team, and there's like 15 on a basketball team. They get slaughtered. You just fucking crush them. Like, just get in a fucking melee. And <laughs> football people them. have pads on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just brutal. Take the helmets off and just brutalize. Do them as weapons. I'll, I'll allow it. So I'll you heard the it. shit out of Steph Curry. I love that. You heard it here first. Folks, Nick's a huge cowboy fan. <laughs> I don't care. Like I said, football fuck it. Yeah. Uh no. Right. I don't have much. Mine's up. <laughs> so that'll do it for episode eighty four of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brandon. This is Brad. This is Nick. Happy hunting.